It's always a pleasure speaking with Canadian Senator Tony Lofreda. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Antonio. Always a pleasure to be with you. Senator Lofreda, first of all, you gave an important and well-received speech to the Senate recently, a speech in which you mentioned uh, the importance of immigrants on our society. You mentioned your own family's history, but you mentioned also a study uh, according to which 80% of Canadians think that uh, immigration is actually important for our economy. There is a tradition at the Senate that uh, you have what you call a maiden speech, sharing your values, who you are. And although I've done many interventions already in a few speeches at the Senate, I did want to put together a maiden speech. And I didn't make it about myself, but about who we are as a community, who and the contribution of immigrants. I wanted it to be a tribute to immigration. And immigrants create jobs. One in three businesses in Canada are owned by immigrants. When immigration is up, GDP increases. When immigration is down, GDP decreases. So very important. Immigration is essential to our economy. And if we look at unemployment, unemployment rates, I mean, if we look at immigrants, unemployment rate of immigrants in 2019 was 6%. The national average was 5.7%. If we look at immigrants that have been here 10 years or more, the unemployment rate of immigrants is only 5%. The national average is 5.7%. So it is extremely important, as you see, after 10 years, the immigrants fully integrate into our labor force and they're essential to our economy. Senator Lufreda, you're also a member of the important Senate Committee on National Finance. What should we expect during this debate uh, over the, the budget, the next budget? We all need a, a strong economy. Concerning the budget, we've all seen in this pandemic there will be a new economy, but not only a new economy. I think we were, we will all come out of this pandemic, new people. But one thing remains constant. It's the importance of healthcare. Healthcare. We've seen the importance of research and development. We've seen the importance of childcare, the climate. How can we deny that we have to take care of our climate? We've seen that. We keep, we keep discussing how important that is. So I think we have to let the stimulus do what it has to do, create employment, create jobs, and we have to be looking forward and do our part, do our part, get back to work, get back to a life full of leisure is an empty life. We have to wake up with a purpose, a purpose to make this economy better, a purpose to get everybody back to work, and a purpose to return as much as possible to our normal lives. So yes, the budget will help us in doing so, and... Um, and kudos to all Canadians that have survived this pandemic and, and a heartfelt condolences to all those that uh, are no longer with us. My thoughts and prayers go out also to them. Senator Lofreda, we all know that you love sports. Uh, you might know already that TLN and Mediaset Italia will have the best of the best of the games for the next Olympic Games in Tokyo. Thank you to TLN for the Olympics is the biggest sporting event in the world. Uh, as an Italian, I do love the World Cup. We all do the World Cup of soccer. But the Olympics are the biggest sporting event in the world, and TLN will have that coverage. So thank you very much for bringing it to us. I know my dad will enjoy it in his own language and will enjoy the, the coverage you will have. So And sports plays a, a great role, an important role for, for all of us, our youth. And, uh, and we all have to look at sports and get involved in our communities, get involved uh, through our, our children, through our grandchildren in sports, and the Olympics is an important part of that. So thank you for making it happen. Thank you for being there as usual for our community. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you, Antonio, always a pleasure. <laughs>